Thing. Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! Despite all the controversy at last week's Republican Party convention, in fact, probably because of it, Donald Trump has got a bigger bounce in the opinion polls than perhaps even he hoped for. They are now showing him with a lead over his Democratic rival, Hillary Clinton, of up to 5%. Temporary, maybe, because this week it is Mrs Clinton's turn to shine at her party's convention, or at least it should be. It looks tonight, though, like we're going to see as much anger as adulation. Now it is the Democratic Party's turn to feel the outrage of members who feel betrayed and abandoned by the establishment. Hell no, DNC! We will vote for Hillary! These protests in downtown Philadelphia today are not just for Bernie Sanders. They are, viscerally, against Hillary Clinton. Because I do not trust her. I did not vote for her eight years ago. And since she's been Secretary of State, she's proven that she's a warmonger. To many of us, Donald Trump is the lesser evil of the two. We can get him out after four years. It'll take eight years to get her out. Her former rival, Bernie Sanders, is trying to corral his supporters, pointing out the danger of the alternative. We have got to defeat Donald Trump. But then just listen to how the crowd reacts when he proposes the Democrats unify around the official nominee. And we have got to elect Hillary Clinton and Tim Kaine. Hillary Clinton is facing a significant challenge from within. The head of the party had no more luck in her call for unity. All right, everybody now, settle down. She's now been forced to resign after emails were leaked suggesting that party officials, who were meant to be neutral, had tried to tip the scales in favor of Clinton. It means that Hillary is being assailed by both sides. This from Republicans at their convention last week. And now this from Democrats who back Sanders. What is crystal clear here on the streets is that there isn't just a never Trump movement amongst Republicans, there is also a never Hillary movement amongst Democrats. On both sides, there is anger and alienation. To Republican criticism, she had this response. I, I don't know what their convention was about other than criticizing me. Uh, I seem to be the only unifying uh, theme that they had. But dissent within her own party is more alarming. As the convention opens tonight, the Clinton campaign is in mounting trouble. Robert Moore, News at 10, Philadelphia. Well, the politics of the Western world hardly seems calm anywhere, but as Robert said, it wasn't supposed to be like this for Hillary Clinton. In the latest in our series of election reports on the divided states of America, we wanted to find out why Mrs Clinton is so unpopular amongst some of the very voters who should, according to conventional political wisdom, at least be right behind her. So Julie has been to the swing state of Pennsylvania, to Jefferson County, where Mrs Clinton even beat Barack Obama in the primaries of 2008, yet where she now faces a struggle to beat Donald Trump. <laughs> The Jefferson County Fair in full swing. Grassroots Americana in a rural corner of a swing state, it feels a million miles from the Democratic Convention. And they're off in a but in a spot where Donald Trump and Bernie Sanders squeezed Hillary Clinton out of the primaries, they're sending her a searing message. In this barn, the farmers have a whole host of reasons not to vote for her, and two of them are registered Democrats. I love the way that she handled herself when everything went on in the White House with her husband. But um, everything that's gone on since then, I, there's been too many, I'm, I hate to say it, but I feel like there's been too many lies. And from her husband, an opinion few might be so frack to articulate. I guess, you know, I'm old school, I'm a dairy farmer, so... I don't know if you go to the Middle East what them countries would think of a, 
a woman leader of the United States, how that would be handled and how the respect for that would be. Would you sooner send your mother or your father to go deal with a bully? In, in my mind, you go send your father. No. Down at the fair's demolition derby, a metaphor just too irresistible for such bruising times in US politics. Both Trump and Clinton battered by becoming their party's least liked candidates in modern presidential history. Everyone knew this is going to be one of the dirtiest and most bitter fights for the White House in decades, but few were prepared for quite such a race to the bottom as this. Among the Democrats here, many are saying that they'll vote for Hillary Clinton because she is, as they see it, the lesser of two evils. And that's a line we've heard again and again. People that don't like her here, don't like her here. It's not tepid, it's either yes or no. When Democrat Congress hopeful Kerith Taylor is on the doorsteps of Jefferson, it's difficult for her to even mention Clinton's name. But as a Bernie Sanders supporter, she's now happy to fall in behind her and wants others to do the same. She has my vote and my colleagues' votes. It's just our job to make sure that she beats Trump because that's a very frightening outlook. And what about the young women of Jefferson County? The generation above them, raised on the feminist struggle, might want Clinton to break through the final glass ceiling. But for them, a woman on the presidential ticket just isn't a big deal. I'm a big feminist, but I don't feel like she stood for feminist values the way Bernie did. She doesn't sound very genuine when she talks. I'm not for abortion. I am for guns and just everything. I'm against everything she's for. I would love to see a woman president, just not Hillary. I think all politics are toxic. I mean, it's a constant battle between the two. I mean, even before they figure out who the candidates are going to be, they're fighting at each other's necks already. So probably just not going to vote for either of them. <laughs> In Jefferson and across the U.S., Clinton knows getting the young Democrats who overwhelmingly went for Bernie Sanders on her side is now crucial. In a race she could never have dreamt could be so difficult, Hillary Clinton has a hill to climb. Julie Etchingham, News at 10, Pennsylvania. Well, Robert uh, is still in a very noisy Philadelphia tonight. Uh, Robert, it's not the start to the convention Hillary would have wanted, but how much trouble is she in? Well, what we have learned, uh, certainly in the last few hours, in fact, what we're seeing right now here on the floor of this convention is that Hillary, simply, uh, Hillary Clinton simply cannot take uh, the unity of this party for granted. She is looking over her shoulder and has to be recognizing there are many uh, white working class voters who are Democrats who are also finding Donald Trump's message that the system is rigged very appealing. They also find that his um, anti-free trade message is resonating. So it certainly is the case that polls today are showing that Donald Trump is looking uh, marginally ahead of Hillary Clinton. That said, also bear in mind, though, that Hillary Clinton is an extraordinarily resilient uh, candidate. So it's no surprise that Donald Trump uh, is going to have a, a big challenge in, his, uh, in, in the race ahead. And certainly uh, in her favor, in Hillary Clinton's favor, is the fact that she is both astonishingly resilience, resilient and also that uh, Donald Trump for Republicans is both a flawed, um, a very flawed candidate. Okay, Robert, sorry, very lively convention floor there. Thank you very much.